I've never been so nervous in my life. You're going in blind essentially and you have a very short amount of time. I didn't expect it to be as tiring as it was. This is the best of the best. This really is the Super Bowl of the craft. Being an electrician isn't just what these men and women do, it's who they are. Sponsored by Ideal Industries, the Ideal National Championship was created to show the world the pride and passion that goes into making a champion. The Ideal National Championships, it's a year-long event that basically culminates here in Orlando. Electricians have supported Ideal for 100 years, and this is our way of giving back and recognizing the tradesperson. Throughout the year, 40,000 total participants, electricians and apprentices from all across America have gone face to face in local and state competitions for a chance to compete here at the National Championship. Both as individuals and in teams, these elite electricians are at the top of their trade. And winning the championship not only means winning a life-changing cash prize, but it also means gaining a sense of pride in knowing that they're the best electricians in America. The process to get in was difficult. We have to continuously get your times a lot lower. You might think that you have a good time, and then two weeks later, you find out that you are on the bottom of the list. Walking out into the arena was both nervous and exhilarating at the same time. I think it's a very hard competition, but I think that also elevates the rest of us to do our absolute best. You're sitting there overthinking certain things, you're moving as fast as you can, but you have to make sure you're safe while doing everything. It takes a toll on you, you know, whether it's physically or mentally. It's At the end of it, you, you feel like you just ran a marathon. <laughs> just because somebody finishes first does not mean that they're going to win the competition. Time is only a small portion of the overall grading scale. It isn't all about speed, though. It's also about accuracy and safety. Something which those who have been through the Powering America team's formalized training understands completely, and they use on the job every day and in competitions like this. I go a lot to the apprenticeship. I was able to go there, learn a trade, progress in it, and make a career out of it. One of the teams that we actually are competing against, they're uh, pretty much the local next to us, and we've been helping each other get better, whether it's by practicing or giving advice. It is fun to meet guys from all over the country, here kind of like, wow, that, that was so easy for me, or we never do this. It energizes people. It's all we talk about. If you like to compete and you like to play sports, this is like a sport with what you do every day. The Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW pride themselves on consistency, the constant quality necessary to build our hospitals and high-rises schools, stadiums, and homes. The commitment to excellence that's required to make your building safe, secure, and efficient is what union members competing here today prove every day working for their NECA contractor. It's a wonderful place that I work, building things every single day, and it's exciting to go back. After this is done, it'll everything go back to normal until next year when the competition starts again. I'm not here just because I'm fast. I like to do things correctly. I pride myself in the quality work I can do. If I win this year, if I lose this year, I'm still back to work on Wednesday after this competition's done. Your ideal national champion is Greg Amlicker. That's all for this edition. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.